So what's going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome to another YouTube video for React Native and let's just continue off where we left in the last video. So here we are with our application and let's just do a little more of UI stuff to this and then we'll move forward. So I'm gonna center this thing a little bit so we can say this is parent and obviously get it inside like that. And what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and write parent here. I'm gonna say it's a flex of one because I need the parent to have 100% height. Justify content center. And I always forget um, which one does what. So let's just, we have to see. Um, yeah, so justify content does our job. You do not want to do a line items because it will kind of shrink it to its original width, I believe. It might not do that, but it's okay. You ju I just want to um, align it in a single axis. So what do we want to do next is actually implement some sort of logic to it. So I'm going to say on press and uh, uh, I'm just going to basically say like this dot uh, check login. Right. Uh, let's just create check login here, which gets our username and password from the state and we can just pretty much define the state here saying username is blank and password is blank right for a heavy application you might want to use things like redux or something but right now i'm just gonna stick to that so um obviously what we want to do now is associate um our state changes with our input fields and uh, what the hell is it missing a placeholder like username and placeholder should be password so next what we obviously want to do is detect when it the event changes or maybe the text changes now the thing the deal with this is that on change would actually give you the element so um, what happens is that uh, on change when you handle when you bind to on change what would happen is that when the change occurs you would get the reference to the element that's not really what we want right now obviously you can get text out of element by e.target.value but uh, react native provides us with a simpler version which is on change text why the heck does it change text holy crap anyways so on change text what it would do is that it will just give you the text the updated one and uh, you can just say this dot set state here to um, username is text just like that and on a similar basis we can do the same thing here on change text what the hell text this dot set state um, password is text right and maybe I'm missing a brace there we go so now what I'm gonna do is just basically say that if username is admin or typical front-end checks and password is also admin I'm gonna show you how to do it um, actually via an API call later on in this mini series only so um, once this happens what I want to do is kind of sort of display an alert but the best way to do right now is just to console.warn because you can actually see your console.warns here um, login is correct okay or something like that all right so let's just write our admin uh, not like that uh-huh I guess my keyboard is doing it automatically I have to do it with the phone so admin admin and hit login you see we get login is okay i hit again we get it two times but if i write something else and hit login we do not oh we get it why is that oh it should be and not or that's stupid and silly and careless how the heck am i even creating a code down platform myself <laughs> anyways so now 
it's not really working at all. And why is that? Our password is blank, fair enough. And why is that? On change. On change. That sucks. So, anyways, one last try. Admin, admin, login. There you go. Admin and admin. So, yeah, so here, what we're gonna do is perform, and obviously, let's just check it with different input as well, just to be sure. With login, and it works. So, um, we're gonna redirect to dashboard else alert something is wrong so yeah basically that's it for this video and in the next video we're gonna maybe create an activity or do something else but it would be interesting so that's all for this one and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next video wait your mission should you choose to accept it is to become awesome by going at codedam.com and learning various different things among a community of developers. This video will end in one second. Good luck.